Okay, so hello everyone. This is Akshay here, and let us resume with the today's question. Or uh, that is the Roman number to integer. So that's a very standard question. You can see the massive submission one hundred eighteen k plus, and maybe it, it has always been good companies as well. Amazon, Microsoft, Facebook, and Twitter. So it's a very standard question. Whenever you you do an SD sheet, so this question is a must to do question, right? Let us do this question. So we have been given string in a Roman number format. Your task is to convert into integer. So there are some symbols. Uh, this I represents one V five and similarly till M we have the symbols right and the symbols would be given in the string format as a Roman one and need to return the integer so there are a couple of points uh, you need to know to solve this question so what are those points are so first of all uh, let us write that what are the string represents so I V X L and then we have C and then we have D and M right the numbers represents are five ten and then fifty it's hundred and five hundred <coughs> and one thousand. Correct. So now you can clearly see that x and v, if, if it is written, it is fifteen, right? When it is, it is i is written, it's one. So it is two i, it is two. If it is three i, it is three. But for four, we cannot write like this, right? So there is one rule that same consecutive characters, same consecutive characters, uh, more than three times cannot be present. It is not allowed, right? It is not allowed. So <clears throat> it comes with a very good method that we can we have to write like this one and five right and this represents four right so this was our first observation or the first uh, factual rule what is the second thing we need to know about it so whenever you have a sequence of characters you just you just write the number so i represents one v represents five right so you need to <clears throat> remember this thing that if first character right if it is greater than second character. Then the resultant is first plus second, first plus second value, right? But in the reverse case, there is the first character is lesser than your second character, right? Then what you need to do is you need to return second minus first value. So here's the example of this test case. X is nothing but 10. V is nothing but 5. So your first character is greater than second character. And what you did, you did 10 plus 5. That is first plus second. But in this case, this is the case which I was talking about i and v. So you have first character as i which represents the value 1 and second as 5. Definitely first character value is lesser than the my second character. So what you need to return is 5 minus 1 that is 4. That is it. We just need to <clears throat> to solve this question we just need to know these three points. Right? Okay. 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 So let me give me some hint to write the pseudocode. Maybe you can put all the values in the map. All these values in the map. You can run a for loop for i equals to i equals to 0 to i less than equals to n minus 1, right? For let's say, or, or we shall do some more dry run, let's say. For x, l, i, and v, let's say. So x is nothing but 10, l is 50, this i is 1, and v is 5. So this 10 is lesser than my current value? It is. So what I will do? I will take minus 10. Now in 50, is it lesser than or greater than my current, uh, the next value? It is greater. So I will take plus 50. Now this for 1. 1 is lesser than my next value, so I will take minus 1. So for the last bit, there is no 1 to compare, so we'll just take plus 5. If you solve it, it will be 50 plus 55 uh, minus 10, 40, <coughs> 45, and minus 1, it will be 44, right? You cannot write 44 as, let's say, triple x, right? And then uh, 4 times x, it will be 40, right? So it violates the rule that you cannot repeat the consecutive characters more than 3 times. You cannot write this and 3 ones. It is not possible, right? Okay, I hope we got a good idea. So let's say DC XL. So first first value is what 500 second value is 100 third value is 10 next value is 50. So for this i equals to 0 what will happen? We will just check if my current value is lesser than or greater than my next value. So it is greater, right? So I will take plus 500 Again for these two value I will check my hundred is lesser or greater. It is greater. So I will take plus hundred for this 10 It is lesser than my next value. So I will take minus if minus 10 then plus 50 if you solve it You will get 640 Correct Similar is the case, you need to run a for loop. You'll just have to check if my next, if my current value is lesser than or uh, greater than my next uh, next value. And then you just need to take the values on the map and do the sum and return the sum. Correct? Please pause this video here. Try to code this approach by yourself. And then we can resume ahead with the Java and C process code. Okay, so let us resume. So that's the Java code here. <coughs> the first and foremost approach is nothing that with that we have made a map. We have put all the values that I starting from I to start ending till M, going to M. Then we have a sum variable and for we have a for loop going from i equals to less than equals to like till the second last character 
and we have handled the last character explicitly out of the in uh, out of the for loop because there is no character compare for the last one right so we are just checking if my current character that is my first character if it is lesser than my next character what i need to do i need to get the negative value of my current character right so that's what i'm adding sum minus equals to my current character value if the opposite case is there we just have to take the plus value correct so that was very simple considering the all the three rules let us now hit the summary button what is the time and space complexity we are just nothing but just running an iterative for loop for all the characters uh, present in our string so it would be o of n what is the space complexity space complexity would be o of 1 because we are push we are actually using a hash map but we are using just for seven constant values right seven right what to say seven three four five seven right so it would be as easy to say that we can consider the time space complexity as o of one and time complexity as o of n uh, if you see the constraint as well uh, the room, roman number range is uh, the string length is given you as three nine 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 right so that means uh, actually less than 10 power 8 and it will got and it got submitted right let us see the c plus score is the same as we have seen in java in the dry run so let us hit the sum button i don't think a walkthrough or a code explanation is required again for the c plus thing Great, so we have done this question. Do not worry, you will get the source code description in my ESA repository. I'll mention the link of the DSA repository in the YouTube description. Till then, keep learning, keep going, bye bye, and take care, guys.